everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tarot. I'd like to acknowledge the Waramai First Nations people. It's W-O-R-I-M-I and welcome to you, your guides, my guides and the universal energies. Absolute pleasure to have you along. So thank you, thank you for joining me. Love your comments, love your questions, keep them coming as well. Okay, what I want to have a look at, entertainment only, <laughs> it's getting a bit raggedy, this little card, uh, is something that came up from my bricks reading uh, the other the other week, the other day, uh, and I have actually read on uh, Bitcoin previously. If you pop, I've read on just about everything previously. So if you pop Bitcoin in the search option uh, and uh, have a look, you'll see a, a video on Bitcoin uh, that I have done. Gosh, I think it's about two years ago now for an update. So uh, this is in regards to um, uh, the development of the, the BRICS. Uh, now, what is that? That is Brazil, Russia, uh, India, China, South America, uh, South Africa, and the Saudis are looking at joining, etc., or have joined. Um, now, what's happening is that we're we're seeing a shift in uh, world finances, in that these countries now, when they are trading, they're actually paying instead of going via using the U.S. dollar, they're going currency to currency direct. Uh, so bypassing the U.S dollar as a form of currency and we're talking about the petrodollar here. So I did the reading uh, last week on BRICS. That was really interesting in the fact that a lot of these countries that are involved are major uh, oil producing countries. However, the world is shifting away from fossil fuels. So I just want to have a look. So crude oil is currently or has been traded in the US dollar since 1974. Um, but the Saudis um, uh, don't want to renew that contract to trade in or in uh, US dollars for their crude oil and they want to use a direct country to country currency instead. However, okay, let's have a look. And as I split the deck again, so we've got this card direct to country direct to direct uh, and there is this difficult legal decision that needs to be made. It is a crossroads moment. And what ha is happening by that, it is uh, reducing the power, uh, the authority of the US dollar. So I have read for uh, ages ago, so apparently the 13th of uh, June was the end of uh, the contract. Uh, in in uh, trading in US dollars. So I want to have a quick look at the future of world currency. So I do see, and I have said, if I go back to that reading two years ago, that uh, we are undergoing a shift where there will be a global currency. Whether that's Bitcoin or not, I'm not sure. Um, as in what we know as cryptocurrency, because there's a lot of uh, unregulated fluctuation about around uh, the crypto crypto coinage at the moment, cryptocurrency. But let's have a look. Let's have a look at the future of the world monetary system. Just me. See if we can drag anything out using my golden universal tarot. And I just, as I picked that up, noticed that I had a card still in the box. And it's this card, movement forward, slow movement forward. Um, disappointed with what's on offer. But something significantly new and abundant for all is going to come forward. Oh, goodness me, I'm just looking at these cards. Um, the Hermit, introspection, isolation, investigation. Oh, this can just simply be shining the light in the dark, which is going to bring about a new partnership. Uh, just I'm just going with the cards on the bottom here. Uh, new partnerships, new agreements, new way of doing things um, that will basically um, tear down the existing structures so that it can be rebuilt new. And it's we've got new beginnings. Um, it, the time is coming up in regards to new beginnings. And uh, there's going to be some, I'm going to say, legal guidelines around this. I'm really, I'm, I'm seeing IMF, and that's the International Monetary Fund. So 
rather than the unregulated uh, cryptocurrency that we have at the moment, I, I'm just going to say yes, 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 and looking at all those major arcana there, which are all uh, yes cards for me, um, and I'm actually seeing the words IMF. So show me the future of uh, world currencies. If you can hear a bit of scrabbling, that's uh, uh, Bindi popping up uh, off the floor, finding a more comfortable spot to lie down in. Okay, show me the future of international currency. Show me the future of international currency. Show me the future of international currency. What do we need to know? I know there's a couple of cards flying out. I haven't pounced. I haven't seen what they are yet. I'll have a look in a second. The international future of international currency. What do we need to know? Future of international currency. That one. Okay. I thought there had been some cards fly out, but there wasn't. Okay. Let's get started. Future of international currency. Um, okay, the signifier card here. There is a hidden agenda at the moment. To me, this is really feeling like uh, Bitcoin at the moment. So this is the signifier card. This is the here and now. Uh, this is working working in the darkness behind the scenes and on the base there is the uh, abuse, the betrayal, the deception, the stealing. Very much the current situation feels like uh, hidden agendas behind the scenes, dark web type stuff. Okay. Um, yeah, the second signifier is about lying, stealing, betraying, uh, making up for the goods, etc. So this is the current energy of cryptocurrency. It's a dark energy. It's a behind the scenes transactions, um, enabling, enabling nefarious uh, operations to take place. So the energy behind the scenes is there is a walking away from the security, the safety, the independence of money at the moment. So this is the energies behind the scenes as we go through this change. There is a walking away from the status quo, basically, that the um, uh, the current uh money being based in the economy of one country. Uh, you only have to look at, um, uh, the, I think they call it the McDonald's, um, oh, share, not share market, but the McDonald's um, indicator is is uh, quite a good, uh, in, it's a widely used indicator at the moment of how currencies compare to each other's the price of a Big Mac across across the world. So there is this walking away from this the security of money, the monetary uh, value um, being determined by one country. Okay, let's let's keep going. Right, yeah, we've got the moving forward, moving on from uh, from what was. A lot of anxiety over this. I mean, I'm not a big fan of cryptocurrency at the moment. It is causing a lot of angst, a lot of anxiety. Uh, I'm not just for individuals, but for countries and governments, etc. We are going through this period of change, um, but it is a change that the truth is here. And we cannot deny it. Okay, we've got uh, the karma hanging over the future of currency. We've got be careful what you wish for. But it's also the smug merchant where he's got all his all his cups lined up in a row and he's living off the fat of the land. So the karma at the moment hanging over this change is that it's benefiting some, but it may not benefit them for particularly long. This is the uh, heartbreak, loss, despair, divorce, uh, anguish caused by the truth, um, the, the the swords of truth and legalities piercing through this, this uh, perception. Okay, the outcome. The Knight of Cups, an offer being made. The king of coins, uh, the oligarchal money, 
Um, it's also the card about with financial stability and security, an offer being made, an offer being made to bring forth a new financial stability. Kings are externally doing. We're looking at a diff, different point of view in regards to money itself. So in regards to money, what we're having in Australia at the moment is our um, major uh, money moving around, like as in cash dollars moving around security company in Australia, has had to have a $5 million bailout by the, the major players in the big banks because because uh, their current business model is running at a significant loss and therefore the, the money moving company, it was Armagard, um, was going to actually close in Australia because it's making su such significant losses because people simply aren't using physical money anymore. Goodness me, I can't just try to think about when I last paid something with cash. So <clears throat> the world is operating differently in regards to money itself. Okay, so this is about plan being formulated on a world basis. This is the planning, the sword of truth coming forward, being brought forward, a sword of, and we've got two pages here, so this is messaging, um, um, a message being brought forward about truth and reality and brutal, brutal reality in regards to money and the fact that, um, well, money doesn't grow on trees for starters, but the, phys the physical coinage, there's not the harvest there anymore. And it's a um, powerful message, brutal honesty that's being brought forward about the fact that coin physical coinage is not changing hands and there is a new way of doing on the world scale. Okay. What we've got on the base, though, is we've got the abuse of power, the betrayal, the stealing, the lying. I'm going to say this is current cryptocurrency because on the basis, current energies, smoke and mirrors, finding its back up against the wall and being restricted and therefore a tearing down of the current monetary exchange systems to rebuild a new one. Not everyone's going to be happy but there is going to be strength in the control. Okay. So what I'm really, I'm still seeing something around the IMF, International Monetary Fund. I am seeing a change from a particular, the US dollar-based world currency to a more, if I say virtual currency, but it is a, oh, how do I put this? It is a regulated international virtual currency. Yeah, it's going to be a difficult message, especially for those. Um, it's going to be a difficult transition, I'm going to say, especially for those that live in poorer areas where cash is still king. Okay, let's see how this is going to play. Let's see how this is going to play. So it's, I'm just going to say it's basically a shift to a virtual monetary exchange. I mean, that's practically what we do at the moment. A virtual monetary exchange, a shift to a virtual monetary exchange. What's this going to herald going forward? Ooh, I'm seeing money can't be hidden any longer. So it's going to, I mean, there'll still be the dark web, but show me the shift. What do we need to know about this shift? Right, we've got something small, starting out small in, okay, it's almost like, okay, thank you. Like I'm going to get a trial period. Oh, for the person that mentioned, <laughs> asked a question of Sterling about being able to hear my guides. Thank you. That was, uh, I was very flattered about that. 
Um, but yeah, something, uh, it's going to be the small start, which is going to cause fear. I'm going to say fear, but it is time. Change is always fearful for a certain element of society. Um, magic happens. The rule will be slow. Okay. So almost what I'm getting a feeling is almost that they're going to do a trial period. Now, Australia is, is very much a trial period country for the world because we have a stable government, a, a cross-section of populace. It's small enough to uh, be able to um, uh, monitor, etc. Now, I'm not saying it's going to happen in Australia. It's small enough but large enough. And we have the diverse population over, over a, a diverse a cross section of society and uh, socio economic and districts, etc. So, for example, um, uh, the I'm just going to use the Big Mac again, McDonald's, we call it Maccas over here. Uh, they trialed the um, in store touch screen ordering, uh, they trialed the McCafes here. Uh, before they roll them out anywhere else in the world. They often try new food products before they roll it out elsewhere in the world. So it feels like there's going to be a small trial period somewhere to assess the fear factor um, to be able to then present, with this magic happening, present how it actually works, iron out the kinks. It's going to be slow movement forward. The intertwining, I get IMF there. Um, no families. Where's this going? Gossip and secrets, flipping, loyalty. The future is not yet written. Now, this is now my main male character or a leader. So I, I'm getting with this intertwining. It's, I'm getting IMF. No to the family's gossip, flipping, loyalty, the future's not yet written. What am I getting here? Why am I getting this no with the family groups? It's almost, um, okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. What I'm getting is that this trial period is to flip this, um, I'm going to say intergenerational fear of conspiracy theories, the loyalty, trying to flip the loyalty of the old way of doing. Thank you. Thank you. And the future is not yet written. We've got leadership here. Oh, there's my now, my, I have changed this card. This card has now been retired and it's been changed to this bit of female. So this is now going to be my main female card, and I'm just going to call her Queen Bee. So if you've already got this deck, feel free to consider this card as Queen Bee, the main female. Um, we've got the main male and the main female here. Unity and, the joy and diversity bringing comfort to the world. Okay, I like these cards, and it's going to be transformative on an international level, giving and receiving help and growth. We've got dark darkness here. Uh, okay, social media, there's going to be darkness on social media about this, but I actually see it as a positive. This is almost like pulling, um, pulling those countries that are really struggling. That's why I keep getting that uh, Six of Pentacles when I was using the Golden Universal Tarot. It's almost like they're going to then bypass a sector of um, transition. And it is it is for the positive, but there's going to be this, this, as it usually is, this darkness on social media because of the fear of change. Um, do, yeah, so don't be surprised about that. It's almost like in uh, certain countries in the world where they haven't gone through the fossil fuel stage, um, 
other other countries and aid agencies are stepping in and bringing them renewable energy straight up. So going from sort of the kerosene lantern and burning over a charcoal stove straight into renewable energy. So they're bypassing the um, fossil, um, I mean, I know kerosene and charcoal are fossil, but bypassing the the uh, big fossil fuel powered state, electricity producing stations. So this is almost like uh, in these particular, around the world, it's going to lift and strengthen people without having to go through that interim stage. So we've got sadness, feminine energy stop. Okay, where's this going to go? Poverty. Like a lightning strike, rest in peace. There, ah, thank you. Oh, this is huge. This is telling me, these cards here, the feminine poverty is going to be stopped. It's going to be a lightning bolt moment that's going to end um, whatever this is. And it may be, uh, again, it's it, when you're talking about these disadvantaged parts of the world, including in the first world countries, it is the women that really suffer that are the ones that are most stricken. And this is telling me, Whatever this process is, is going to bring a stop to the poverty of women. Okay, we've got happy, yes, country, and also the fact that, you know, plowing and producing the country. Wow. Past is this, is this, devil energy we are at a crossroads moment where we will move towards a positive and it's going to happen quickly wow this is really interesting now don't ask me how this is going to um, benefit women and these third world countries i'm just getting that it will it's going to benefit the ordinary person now, it may be that part of this change, this process, as we move towards a universal base income. Um, great book to read if you're interested in that sort of thing is what's it, U Utopia for Realists about the universal base income. There's something there that a move to an international monetary scheme um, is actually going to be really beneficial, despite the fear. So let's see how it plays. I can't say I'm, oh, I don't understand Bitcoin. Um, it's not my wheelhouse. This is not financial advice. It's not Bitcoin. It's something else that is regulated on a global scale. And it is, um, it is empowering to those that need help. And don't ask me how, but I'm looking forward to seeing what comes out. Okay, love to you all. Take care. Bye-bye.